Hey everyone, welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved, and we are on the Ragnarok map, and today we're going to be moving. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this show on the road. Let's get on my leading rapper here. Rap. <laughs> Sorry. Annabelle here. up with names for quite everyone, but I'm working on that still. And I have one other thing that spawned while I was getting some new dinosaurs. And all I could do was say, no, no, no. And so, as you just trying to angle the camera right. That's my bad. Alright. Everybody close together. Should all be following just about. Last but not least, the compies. So, let's just do this really quick. Grab and go. They're going to be, hopefully, in you know, their own little group. Grab the bad meat out real quick. So, we have a new location marked. And all we're going to be doing, basically, is following the path to the predestined area where I had my husband mark it oh, and uh, have a little bit of fun creating our new base. Okay, we're good. Alright, Annabelle. Now that everybody's lined up, I have one thing left to do. Let's boost the team. Alright, so this spawned in. Nice, rather intelligent male. And so what I have done is left the points available from the crafting I've been doing and I've collected some drops. Didn't want him to chomp up my team, so I forced him to this one, but also so you get a chance to see this rare Tech Rex. Go to my chat one moment. Get that activated here. There we go. So let's pound it for our hopefully safe trip to the new location. Difficult to say, but one never knows. If you have questions or comments, I may not answer them right away during the live stream, but I'm always going back through and rechecking chat after and I try to also during the actual airing. Alright, at least for Twitch, if you're watching this from YouTube, I still check comments and whispers and I always appreciate when you subscribe or follow. So, much obliged and thank you so much. I do have it set up. I ask people to follow before talking on Twitch chat. And that is simply because I've had a lot of negative chat and people joining and trying to throw in links and get people to go do other things or join their channel. And so I try to keep the negativity as low as possible. Again, welcome, welcome to the live stream. And I'm setting it up now so that if you all would like to sit there and put your input, what would we like to do with this 99 Tech Rex? Would we like it to be a health tank? Would we like it to be a melee damage tank? So, leave a comment, whisper, let me know. In the meantime, he's going to stay just as he is. He's got a triple coloration for a tech that usually 
automatically labels it as a rare. Normally I would have tried to trap him and then trank him out. Right now I don't have a crossbow, which also does cause damage. So I did go ahead and force tame him. Since my herd is strong, I'm just not confident they would have succeeded in taking down a 99. He's pretty high level, he's almost capped out. And that would have been really difficult to contest with. Let me try to get everybody out. Get him in a little bit of a circle. And I'm just gonna run over here real quick because. out. Come on, big fella, you can do it. Now the Rex has to do wide circles. Oh, let him do this circle. He's just gonna walk over everybody. make sure everyone's following more or less all right so we're following the pillars and we're going up up and away it's going to be a challenge and I will have to take some of them up in groups on the bridge so I found a tech parasaur I grabbed a couple more um, uh, two more carbon nemesis I have to join the one I had tamed so it could be mate boosted for the trip. Uh, so I grabbed a uh, female Listrosaurus because I couldn't find one. I kept finding males. I finally found one so I grabbed that one today. I made some more saddles. I'm going to need a few more. But most of the team is saddled for extra health protection. Looks like I all made it. So we're going to head out. Oh, I should double check one sec. I'm gonna double check. Let's uh, admin pop up here and double check. I don't see anyone left behind, but I will grab and collect this egg. Oh, they're, they're trying to follow me back around inside. Here, oh, we're fine. It's fine. It's fine. Come here, all of you. Hello. Hello. You coops. Goodness. Away we go. So we're following the pillars. Make sure everybody's in neutral. Let's get some of them to hurry through. This is where I'm going to have to break them up into groups. This is going to be a challenge. We'll have to have the wreck stay down here to check everyone. There they are, and some are a little bit slower, so I have to give everybody a chance to catch up. This is where I'm going to leave them here. Semi protected spot right here.
Alright, now this is going to be the fun part. Let's just grab one up. I'm going to take some reinforcement up to the top. Alright, so this is where we're going to be going. Right up here. And up. Hmm. I need a stairs or ramp right here. I wonder if we're going to be able to do that real quick. Is that it? Oh wait, no, I need stone. Stone, 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 stone. That's Adobe. Oh, that didn't work. Go quick slot. Thank you. There we go. Alright. There we go. Okay. Alright, I come up there. I'm double checking the area in case something does spawn. Oh. Oh, we'll be able to get crystals. Okay, and then right up here. Here's the new home. Days will hike up from the beach. We've got some ruins here, like a chapel, and some bridge, an archway, and a beautiful waterfall. So we'll have our water source for our garden. No problem whatsoever. And home sweet home. This will be the lower section for storage and building. The house will be going in. And up here is where the Thames will be residing. Oh, darn berries. One copy. And then through here, later on, this will be the area for the nursery. Has not been constructed just yet. The house itself will be within those walls. I thought there was an outer door. There it is. Found it. Alright, the, the compies will, if something were to spawn in, they'll take it out. So let's get them moved. Now this would take a while one by one. I would normally have, say, the raptors because they're quick and small with the escort of these smaller ones up. Normally I would break this into two or three groups, but right now I'm just trying to get them all there. them there. So I got the Triceratops following Trish. Whoop. Stuck. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to speed stuff up by doing this in GCM. This was my husband's really cool idea, which I like to do, but I don't always get to pull it off. I'm not a smooth builder. So he managed to get a single door set up. There we go. <laughs> so, and this will just open up the area below and around for more tames. I'll be able to track down up here and get the allosaurs that spawn up and along this ridge and then near the top. I really love allosaurs and it should be pretty good. 
you. Stop being trapped by all these trees. There we go. <laughs> no sweat. Stop panicking off well. Alright, let's make sure you're not over encumbered. Let me grab that off of you. There we go. Alright. Now then. Go around. Does anyone see the other compass? No oh, compass. It's a little hard to see in here. Alright. Let's grab the dodos. Trying to listen for the chatter chatter, you know? I don't. And I'm gonna double check that we're not missing anyone down here in the hole. Where the bridge is. Like a compy could get hung up here. I don't see any green names glowing at me madly. So I think we're good. But, oh, there they are. Dodos. And a couple confused copies. Not surprised. Well, let's see if we can get them to the right area. Come on, you lot. protest because you can walk faster than dodos but just keep in mind stop periodically let them catch up and everything will be fine no sweat Tedious, but was it? Darn it, I'm gonna pick these darn berries. <laughs> Look, it's up getting away. I'm dropping off, Dave. I should have picked all the berries before I was coming back. You see, there's a lot of little things that you might not think of when you're moving a herd. Okay, good enough. That spot is now cleared. I should just make a hole in the rough. <laughs> Then I'd have to aim carefully each time and it just gets complicated. At least there's crystal here so we'll be able to make our spyglass finally. Yay! <laughs> You've no idea how many times I use a darn spyglass. <laughs> it's 
ridiculous how often I'll use it when I get it. And I always make a spare in case I die. This series I won't be dying as much because when I stream, at least for sure, I go and you see them. So. Oh, I hit the big door. There you go. So that's done. I'll be bringing them in groups. This will be tricky. Even breaking them down into small groups is going to be tedious. Getting them up and not getting injured. So doing it in GCM is the safest route. Of course. <laughs> kind of funny. I have to be there's a fun bit of grabbing the dodos and chucking them away. Now I keep dodos for making dodo kibble and because the eggs are great for emergency food source and they last a good bit of time longer than raw meat, even in the they can match up to holding cooked meat in your inventory, depending on how your world is set up. Dodo eggs could even potentially outlast sometimes cooked meat, so they're really good for that. Quick, quick, quick. Ooh. I missed. <laughs> Ugh. If you're not sure if a mate of your whoops your dinosaur made it and you went away and you feel like you're missing one, go to your dinosaur and see if it's hearted. If it's not hearted, it's either too far away from its mate or you did lose it somewhere down the trail. You may wish to backtrack and go save it. Either by yourself, a little quicker, or take the herd back with you. Just a thought. So the reason I didn't go back and double check for the Lystrosaurus is because I could see that it was hearted, which means that it did catch up to its mate. Let's see. Let's see the heart. I think I just have one more dodo. I forgot to count the darn birds. So in this area, I'll be looking for my... Allosaurus to get some Allosaur, either a herd or roughly no more than three. And I will be working on trying to bolo and tank out, get to my um, birds with some Argentavises flock. Very excited about that. And just over in that direction, I will be, I believe, yes, that, roughly that direction. I'll be trying to get patchy rhinoceros, which will be essentially be my new away team, and the Triceratops will be protecting home base. Oh, there it is, it's right there. Gotcha. All right, now we're going to move the first set of dinosaurs up. Try to get them up. So, ah. this will be um, especially tricky. I think I'm, I'm gonna have no choice but to move them one at a time. This is tedious because it's hard on my hands. 
We can move a very, very small amount at a time. Roughly two at a time. So... Let's attempt this. Now I need to get on Trish. Alright. Now Trish should be able to go up. Let's see, what else we can we do in this area? There's some karma sources that spawn here and I think there are some rexes that do also spawn however I do try to avoid some of the more dangerous areas oh I forgot to take that rock out we'll need to take that rock out probably but I think we'll be alright now the trickiest one to bring up it will be the rex the rex will be able to make it up too Preferably three would be easier, but it's just going, it'll have to be lined up very, very carefully. And as you can see, there's ruins here, and there's some stairs, and some pathways up. This was just the more direct route to make sure I made it during daytime. I do have, um, ladies and gents. We do have it unlocked up to metal now. And I just recently got the, as you just saw, the reinforced stone, um, what is it called? Uh, behemoth, there we are. Behemoth gate. The behemoth gate. <laughs> so here is our star raptor, Annabelle, until we either come across a higher one or a tech one. The techs do have a little more up. And they're not affected by environment, so you, when you change biomes, keep that in mind if you want a team to travel with you through multiple biomes. Consider getting some techs. They are harder to come by but I will say this from personal experience, they are well worth the fight to get them. Now when it comes to something that's quick, I don't recommend you put a lot of uh, speed boost on them. As you can see, I've added a single point and then because I got a higher one and realized that it was actually faster than the rest of the herd, I had to put two points on the younger ones just so they could keep up with the leader <laughs> of the little troop. But as you can see, they are rather quick and very agile and so turning can be sort of jarring. And you could, without realizing it, run right off a cliff. So be careful with the faster ones like the parasaurs, raptors. Um, can't think right now, but there are some dinosaurs that are especially quick. And if you need quicker ground response and you're up in the woods, consider getting some micro raptors. Not only can they glide, but they are very quick and incredibly aggressive. They're wonderful protectors, and you can carry them on your shoulder to boost your inventory. There we go. Let's making good time. <laughs> Oh, we. <laughs> I'm hoping to find another tech parasaur, but we'll see. Some do spawn around this 
people in the woods here. Mostly the beaches, but there are a few places inland you can find them at too, on Ragnarok. Oh. Let's see, what else can we find here? Oh, sometimes you'll find saber tooths. Yes, saber tooths up here. So keep that in mind. Watch out for those. They are not only agile, but they've got some fall damage that is reduced for them being very agile. So watch out for that. If you're trying to get some tames, watch out for saber tooths. They can damage what you're trying to tame and make it more complicated. I guess that does it about for tips unless you can think of something I'm missing, Reaper. Because um, there are some other dinosaurs that come in this area. Um, careful Shit. you're being followed. Oh, oh no. Move it back and then um, say stop. All. Oh. I, I did. I thought I did get on that one and tell it to stop, but apparently, yeah. See, they were all trying to follow you. That's the leading parasaur. Better check the health of that other one. Oh, they do a torpor of some kind too. Don't they can? What is it? Stun? Is it a stun? Stun. Stun damage. So yeah. So when you encounter a micro raptor, unless you also have something to counter that, there's a good chance they'll freeze you in place and tear into you. Now they do get distracted pretty easily so don't be alarmed if you get hit, attacked, and then it just takes off and gets distracted by the prey. <laughs> true, true. That's a good counter. So... Yeah, true, true. So, when you want to get some Microraptors, consider a couple different dinosaurs to help you blind them and slow them, such as the Dilophosaurus and the Scorpul... Okay, I can't say it, but the scorpion-like dinosaur that is on Ark Survival Evolved that you find, they are exceptionally good for that. They're quick and just as agile. I like to use lava sources for taming. Now the other one to help out with aggressively taking out would include getting yourself an Iku for kicking or a patchy for headbutting them out. Keep in mind though if you do this you're going to want to get a, give them a lot of stamina and, and be careful with their health. Not the rhinoceros, the the uh, pat patchiosaurus. I have to look at it to say the name, but for short, they're called patchies. Mhm. Mm yeah, they have a torpor that can stun. But they can also, if you do it enough, it'll actually knock out. Now it does do some damage, you have to be careful with Apache. But they're really good for being health tanks. There are some people who swear by them. And they have, well, they also have um, a hearty skin, if you will. 
they can't be great home defense. I wouldn't necessarily take them out against, say, bosses on purpose. <laughs> they wear themselves down quite quickly and ag as aggressive dinosaur. I actually tested some out once before and uh, their headbutting, they did it so much in aggressive that they actually passed out from over themselves, if you will, I guess. And, uh, and they stayed that way for a bit. I had to go manually heal them up to bring their stamina back up. So these two will have to be taken up carefully. Oh, there is another dodo. Cool figure. Oh, Lord. There's a carbon nemesis is following. That's alright, we'll get those two next. I did jump on them and say stop all, but sometimes the whistle command fails. I got on each leader dinosaur and said stop all, but I'll have to check back. I may have forgotten the carbon nemesis one. I did jump on the parasaur, I thought, and I jumped on the triceratops. And it's not easy remembering everything. <laughs> yeah, you also have to understand, just so you know, I've been up for 12 hours right now. <laughs> I'm trying to pull this off. As though I have had, well, been well rested and all that. They're down this way. Oh my gosh, look at how high they are able to climb! Now the other one gonna be tricky. We'll just have to admin create a saddle. I ran out of uh, leather. <laughs> We're making good time and on top of that I'm really impressed we haven't had an attack. We're doing, we're lucky. Today we are completely lucky. This is a very dangerous place here at the bottom near the waterways. You'll see a lot of carnosaurs and a lot of carnos. Um, the second most deadly thing probably would be the Alice herds spawning in without warning. They are definitely a force to be reckoned with. And then we have the, the Diplos running around and they'll, they'll push you to death so to speak. They're um, not necessarily aggressive per se. If you stick around them too long and get too close, they will push you and push you and push you until you either get away from them a good distance away. Sometimes they will give chase though. I've had them chase me for quite a ways. One irritated me following me and the herd and kept pushing my dinos and injuring them. And I, I had, I got so angry I just had my herd slay that one. <laughs> it actually annoyed me. <laughs> I was trying to get through its area and it was narrow, narrow little bit of land between a couple raised areas. And there just wasn't a way to get away from it. It was annoying. <laughs> So, this is a nice area and there will be a place for the gardening, for flyers when I get them. Oh, this is going to be not so bad. Oh, that one I forced tame. That's right, because I was trying to mate boost the other one. Forgot. Oh, I got lucky with this one then. Didn't need to get in a saddle. Forgot about that. I still am impressed at how loyal it was. For a tame, it didn't give up. <laughs> it was going to climb the mountain one way or another. <laughs> that is something. There are some tames I would call, uh, they'll have uh, cowardly moments where if the heat of battle is too much, you'll actually see them tuck tail and book it away from you in the opposite direction. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, if one of your teams do that, there's usually a good reason for it. They might have spotted something coming that you didn't, or they realize themselves that it's a no-win situation. So that's one other tip I, I don't always put out there. I think I may have forgotten to just keep that in mind. Yes. So this is on a broken bridge. You can see really well from here and on this lower dinosaur. And then we have the ruins up here and some broken stairs. And um, Ragnarok has some unique areas and that you can actually pull off some major builds, it's called major builds, that you normally won't be able to in other areas. I use, I activate under the advanced admin commands, I put it up so that stuff can clip into terrain, and that's simply to build smoothly, more smoother. That I built all by hand. I know, that was difficult. So that is supports, and uh, you unlock the pillars and you put them in areas where you can't otherwise build, and then you're able to construct. Um, check the area real quick. I'm met with the trigger. <laughs> you're too far now. <laughs> Ooh, that was a little close. <laughs> so I didn't realize it, but the resources right around this area is not bad. I'll be able to get berries and wood and crystal and metals, and I saw even a chunk of what looked like obsidian. Right outside your house. That was something else. And rare flowers, of course. You can see the other construction. Everything's all clear. Just like it. Alright. Let's get the parasaurs up and then uh, grab that last dodo. Get the listros up before the wrecks. That's going to be tricky. Now I get uh, the list resources because they do add a team boost for experiencing level ups and they do help with you t as your personal character as well. I leave them at home because they're not really good, they're not for attacking really, they're mostly just to boost your herd. And they're not very fast, they are slow. However, they're really helpful for quick leveling and when your team is at home, if you have an attack, they boost the whole herd. And there are boosting, other boosting dinosaurs, for example, the Rex. <gasps> yep, that's all I can think right now. My brain is really tired. <laughs> the what? The boars? Big, uh, hairy boars? Oh, yes! The, um... Shoot. My mind is blank. I'd have to look at the names. Yeah, it's the, the boars, the wild boars that you'll get up in the more snow biomes or just outside the snow biome. They give, they offer a health boost. They can do healing even during combat. Just 
understand that they, they eat meat and they need meat in their inventory even fish if, if that's what you got handy so that they can heal themselves and make sure they have a good amount of stamina and understand that if you have the boars in your team and you're trying to tame something be sure to put your group on passive or they will go over to your poor unconscious creature and chomp it down even in neutral Dilophosaurus. <laughs> wow, good luck with the Rex, pal. <laughs> That's hilarious. Really, you two? They help them. I'll be dang. Let's go. Uh, careful. Yeah. There you go. I think you got it. You should be able to just. walk up slowly because the wreck walks you might be able to just have them follow the wrecks up who knows <laughs> we're gonna try almost yeah i know i i, I would too and of course for the helping out please go check out reaper souls gaming on twitch and youtube Real Reaper Souls Gaming on Twitch. Oh, yes, right. You edited it. Had to. Yeah. So, the Real Reaper Souls Gaming. Is it with gaming? All one yeah. word. So, the Real Reaper Souls Gaming on Twitch. And Reaper Souls Gaming on YouTube. So, if you want to catch some more first person shooter games and some more PvP, check out my husband's streams. Right now, I'm doing the Minecraft series. Oh, that's right. And right now he's doing the survival, I think, right? Survival Minecraft series. Personally, I'm trying to do some... Demonstrate for the, the Ark Survival Evolved maps. Each map, doing a series on each of the maps. Building up to showcasing the Genesis 1 and Genesis 2 as well. I have both of those. Right now I'm doing Ragnarok and the center. Oh, just got hung up. Wow, how did... How? <laughs> wow. Now these dinosaurs, they may not be the brightest bunch, but they are loyal and they are kind of cute. I think some people consider them adorable. I think they have the cuteness to them. I think it's their face. I'm gonna have to say their face. <laughs> Maybe them being so small helps. Nice one. Look at that. You know, I, I was concerned they might actually fall through the two. But it's actually holding them up. How about that? Come on, Team Boosters! <laughs> <laughs> How about that? We just might get them up. Oi. Yeah. No! Ooh! 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 That was close. Careful with that double tap. Come on, partners! Oh, please tell me you can climb over that. Oh, yeah. Oh, dear. We may need. Uh, set up. I have it right here. Stairs. Oh, it's tech. You need the stone back and put it up. The stone. Can you put the. Oh, shoot, I don't know. Alright, let's see. Come on. 
Come on. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Whoo! Watch out because stuff spawns here pretty easily, so keep a lookout. We've been lucky, but spending time in the same location can cause spawns to happen, so always be aware of your surroundings in this survival game. Because if you don't pay attention, you may find yourself and your herd consumed or slain or both. Now, under normal circumstances, I wouldn't have tech open till capping out my character, and that is only if I save points to put towards unlocking. There's a lot of pieces to get your tech unlocked all the way. And if you just want something specifically unlocked, keep an eye on your points and look ahead if it's something high level you want specifically. Look and see what the requirements are for it so that you don't waste points or lose them to something else that you could maybe live without. On this game you have a limited amount of points and it's always good to plan out some ahead of time and save them up. I think that's it. Again, if you have suggestions, I've been checking chat, on what you would like this tech wreck to be. Should we make him a health tank, or should we make him a melee damage tank? Whisper, leave comment, and let me know. And I'll wait it out for some while, just keep leveling him up. And when I find out, we'll go from there. We might need to get him up a different way, I'm not sure. I'm gonna try this. Hang on, big fella. Alright, we're gonna have to try to go up the other route. Ooh. Good boy. Whew. They really are incredible at climbing. They're really something else. Just might be able to make it up this little path. That right there, ladies and gents, was some incredible gameplay right there. Only do that if you're a pro. Don't try that as a newbie. Just fair warning, because you have to plant your dinosaur just right and know exactly their limits. Whew. Nice one. Good save. Again, this is a 99 rare tech rex. You can see it from this angle. The three triple coloration. Black along the backbone. Silver on the main body or the main paint. And the belly is green. And the head. I'm not sure. You see how the... Yes, yeah, so there's actually more coloration. It's more like a rainbow. And the head is also a little different, dar darker than the belly, I noticed too, which I don't see most often. Usually it's the same color as the main body paint. It's really interesting. It's different. This is the first one I've seen like this. It has its own... Uh, it even has some bones along the back, and it has a bony tail. A different design than what I've ever seen. First time. Alright, let's close it up. Okay, so once again, we've got a sectioned off area for the Thames themselves. And over here, we're going to turn it into a nursery if you don't want some. To see how some baby dinosaurs can be raised or could be raised, there's a few options for that. That will be the nursery. And then over here, we're going to be putting the house together. And up above, there's a nice broad roof for the bird. And who knows? We might get lucky. And we might be able to get a few one of a kind. Such as, we may successfully tame a griffin. We might find ourselves 
some decent Argentavises. I prefer to get them at lower levels. And of course, we might get a tap a jar or two. That's difficult. And we might even get ourselves the infamous one. And, oh, there's a couple other ones that have been added in. But for the most part, the. Um, wow, I cannot think today. Try as I might. What are you thinking of? <laughs> the Quetzal. The Quetzal. <laughs> and then the other war larger one that was added in the para. How do you say it? Huh? The other big bird, similar to the Quetzal, that was added in after the Quetzal. The para. The, the Parasur. Anyway, for short, Parasur. It's another flying type that you can um, get a saddle on to it as well. Okay, so now I'm going to show this location a little better, this area. Oh, let's do that and TCM flat. So this is a ruins. And we've got some stairs and a bridge here, a waterfall, and a bit of a cave here. And then we've got some more waters. Here's the Argentavises. So I will be able to collect the water, collect berries, collect some foods. And as you can see, this is the bridge that continues this direction. Oh, I don't have flyers. And there's some allosaurs right here. Look at that. All right, let's, let's have a peek. Look at these beauties. Oh, I've been spotted. No, don't jump. Poor baby. Oh, look, your mate followed you. How loyal. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's um, uh, let's take a look at the map real quick so you can see this little bit of location here. In my case, uh, I'm in the northern section to the left of the map. Now, I, I've had it where the Ragnarok spawns alternately in different areas. So sometimes you may be south <laughs> on the map and sometimes you may be north on the map. So in my case it's reversed. So the north is in the south and the south is in the north. It's kind of funny. But welcome to Ragnarok. It is one of a kind and truly worth exploring. Oh no, the techie fell. Now here there's some dangerous dinosaurs so watch out. You might encounter for example in this hidden sort of lake a baryonyx or a spino so watch yourself I think sometimes you may you may encounter some beavers you may encounter some beavers now you can see there's some vines here and a nice big archway and again some good resources even some crystal and um, show you where was that the obsidian was that all the way down here the, near the bottom there it is right here now when the dark is really black and sort of shiny like that reminds me of hematite usually it means that it's obsidian which is not an easy stone to acquire okay let's go inside That about wraps it up. So, did I show you all the stats? All right, so these, this is the stats for the 99 Rex. And keep in mind, it's a tech, so the stats may be a slightly higher. So to trank one of these out, your best bet would be to level up. If you spot one on the fly, level up your character. They won't stick around too long. They do despawn. If you're high enough level, try to get the long neck rifle and get the tranquilizer darts or the shocking tranks if you're high high level and you have some points. Try to get the shock tranks that do little damage but will still knock out these mediator dinosaurs with uh, heavy skins and lots of HP.
it's the same kind of idea method if you want to get a brontosaurus or uh, larger dinosaurs like allosaurus, carnos, rexes. All right, it looks like we've got everybody. Thank you for your donation. All right, after I get some more designing, I'll give you a fresh tour of the new surroundings and we'll see about getting some new tanks. Oh, that, that was the wrong one to include first. Once again, this is Snow Queen 31, also known as MMO Gaming. Thank you so much for joining today. I will see you all next time on Ark Ragnarok. Bye for now. I keeps doing that. Stop doing that, box. <laughs>